Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the basics of a chemical equation. Chemical reactions occur all around us. They are exciting like these fireworks and also helpful like these fires. A chemical re reaction can be represented using a chemical equation. But let's see what a chemical equation tells us. Let's take a look at this chemical equation. On the left are the reactants. If you look at this, it has methane, which is CH4. The plus mark tells us reacts with, and then oxygen, which is O2. The arrow tells us that it's going to produce, and then the right side are called your products, and it's going to make carbon dioxide, and then the plus side on the product side tells you and, so it's carbon dioxide and water. In a chemical reaction, the atoms are neither created nor destroyed. All the atoms present on the reactant side must be accounted for among the product side. In other words, it must be balanced. If you look at this reaction and count the atoms, you will notice that it is unbalanced. Contrast that to this new equation and you will see that it is now balanced. I have a video and I will leave a link in the show notes that goes over the basics for balancing equations. Besides specifying the compounds involved in a reaction, you can also indicate the physical states of the reactants. Here are some symbols that are used. The S is a solid, the L is a liquid, the G is a gas, and the AQ is dissolved in water. So in this chemical equation, you have solid potassium plus a liquid water, and then it makes hydrogen gas, notice the G, and it's dissolved in water. So there we go, chemical equations, reactants on the left, products on the right, and the arrow tells you that it produces. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.